And the greatest gift you have today is another day of life. Hello ladies and welcome to Step Boss. question that people ask me a lot like how can I eat healthier how can I lose weight how do you lose weight how do you stay healthy how do you look 31 how do you have three kids and it's just by doing healthier hacks like I'm not a complete freak when it comes to eating healthy but I do make sure that I have some things that I do follow tricks rules that I follow so that way I can stay healthier because let's face it I'm a baker and it's <laughs> it's hard to eat healthy all the time you know but I had to learn how to have control of what I eat and I had to learn these little hacks so that way I can still enjoy food but at the same time stay healthier and keep my body weight so Today I'm gonna share with you 10 tips with you to how to eat healthier. And the tip number one will be to, first of all, when you go to the grocery store, always read the nutritional labels. If it has a list of ingredients like, oh, bye. Another thing is, I hear this a lot and it is, if you cannot read it or spell it, just don't buy it because unless you want to google what the hell is that but it, it's usually something that you should not eat so very important for you to read the nutritional levels because sometimes when you read you say okay this portion has this amount of calories but make sure to know how much is the portion because sometimes the portion eats a half a cup or a fourth of a cup and when you serve that food you're gonna serve like a whole cup so that the number is gonna go four times the number so it only 10 calories then it's gonna go 40 calories you get what I'm saying tip number two will be to eat whole foods and when I mean whole foods I mean foods that you can grow if it's made on a factory by man uh, no okay that's no no go for whole foods and fresh foods that's always the number one. That's always better than canned or whatever already prepared food. Because when it's canned, obviously they're gonna have to use some preservatives and stuff. So that way the food can last longer. You can go for the 80-20 rules where 80% of the food will be any of these 10 tips and the other 20% you can indulge. A lot of people do that, I do, I do that. If you wanna eat like, ha I, like I said, I love eating, so I still enjoy the things I love. I just make sure that I do some hacks to make it healthier. And by this I mean I can exchange fried foods for baked foods or steam. Like instead of french fries, baked fries. Instead of fried tofu or fried whatever, I do like uh, steam or baked. And that way it's healthier. Capish? I still enjoy the same foods, but I make sure I cook them healthy number four will be drink more water if you are drinking water constantly you're gonna keep your belly full and that way you're not gonna be tempted to eat too much snacks and if you eat the snacks which you should you will eat as at the appropriate amount of it and you're not gonna go for a whole bag of chips or a whole bar of chocolate and nothing like that so it's very important for you to drink a lot of water and believe me, you're gonna start losing weight when you start drinking a lot of water. Like that is like magic. So the trick number five will be don't skip meals. When you skip meal, you are going to overfed yourself when you finally eat. Example, when you skip breakfast, at lunchtime, you're gonna be so hungry that you're gonna overfed. And technically your body can only digest a certain amount of calories every time you eat. This is why we recommend to eat smaller portions more amount of time. Let's say your body can burn 500 calories at a time. So your body will burn those 500 calories and the rest is gonna store it as fat. So we don't wanna do that. So we wanna give our body what it can work with. So when you eat your breakfast, you eat the amount of breakfast you need and your body's gonna go with, you know, with his normal rhythm and he's gonna burn the calories. And then when you, about two hours, then you can have a snack and then two hours you can have your lunch and so, and sort of like that. So that means do not skip your meals. Always have your breakfast. Your breakfast doesn't have to be a fancy plate. You can just go with green smoothie where you're gonna know you're gonna have all your nutritional values and you're gonna feel good about yourself. The number six, and it's don't skip your snacks either. So in between each meal, you need to have a snack. A lot of 
a lot of people try to debate me like, no, you should have three meals a day. No, you should have five. You should have your three meals and a snack in between. That way, when you're gonna eat again, you're not gonna be super hungry and you're not gonna overfed yourself. So snacks are very important to keep your stomach full. So if you need something and it's not fresh, just go for frozen. Like that's frozen foods are re are way better than can um, because since it's gonna be frozen, they don't have to add too much crap on it. So if there's no fresh fruits or fresh veggies, you can always go for the frozen option. And that will be number seven. Don't go for this. Do not go for this. They, they trying to they trying to fool you. Okay, they trying to fool you. They trying to make you spend your money when they put a label low fat or low sugar. Let me tell you something. If it says low fat, it's probably high in sugar. And if it says low in sugar, it's probably high in fat. The reason of this is fat is flavor. So when they take the fat off, they take in flavor off. So for you to be able to like that and buy it again and eat it, they need to add flavor and with this will come sugar. So when you read the labels, number one, read because if it's low fat, it's probably high in sugar. And if it's low sugar, since it doesn't have any sweet or anything, they need to add fat so that way it's tasty and you can eat it. I used to work in a donut company, I'm not gonna say names, and they had this low fat muffin. The funny thing is that that beautiful topping was pure sugar. Like I had to grab the muffin and put it on a, I had a, a pan of sugar <laughs> and I had to grab the muffin and pour it on the sugar and then I will bake it. And when you bake it, it's gonna look nice and caramelized and it's gonna look pretty to the eye. And then it's gonna say, oh no, fast so I can eat that. But it, 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 it has sugar, okay? Just go for regular food. Make sure it's a healthier version. Just, that's it. Don't read the labels. Don't go for artificial flavorings. If it says strawberry flavored, it means it's not real. It's not real strawberries. It's artificial. And it's been proven that these stuffs are terrible for your health in the long term, especially, especially with kids. And believe me, I'm paying the consequences of all the crap I let my kids eat. I'm paying my consequences. And the number 10 will be eat the rainbow. Make sure you have in your plate all the beautiful colors of the rainbow. You need to have white meals, white fruits and veggies, purples, reds, yellows and orange, greens. You need to have all these colors. So when you eat, eat the rainbow. And I guess this will be a bonus. Make sure that you eat from each food group. Each plate, make sure you have a portion of grains, a portion of carbs, a portion of fruits, and a portion of veggies. And your dairy will be a dairy-free, like almond milk, soy milk, or coconut milk, that it will go for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, so that way you can be healthy and happier with Fit Step. I will see you tomorrow on the next episode of Step Mask. Bye! Mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's big